Now, covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, short sleeves, no <laughs> jacket today. We need more of this. Yeah, we'll get some more by the time we get to mid-May. <laughs> or June. <laughs> Not the next seven days, that's for sure. Here's a look at your temperature trend. We are going back down starting tomorrow. High temperatures will only be in the 40s to around 50. Lower to mid 40s on Sunday and Monday, and then a mixture of upper 30s and 40s as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperatures will be running about 20 degrees below normal for much of next week. But let's talk about today. It was much warmer than what we saw yesterday. What a difference a day makes, right? Temperatures running 15 to 20 degrees warmer. In fact, instead of highs, in the 30s and 40s, we had highs mainly in the 60s. 66 degrees in Fond du Lac, 64 in Watoma. We had 62 degrees in Oshkosh. Right now, we are looking at cooler conditions working in from the north. We've got a cold front that is dropping south across the viewing area. 62 degrees in Sheboygan compared to 45 degrees in Anago. That cold front has some very gusty winds just behind it. We have now been gusting over 40 miles per hour in Green Bay for the last couple of hours. You can see the wind is gusting right now to 43 miles per hour. The temperature is 57 with mostly cloudy skies. We've seen kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the day. Sky conditions ranging from mostly sunny to mostly cloudy. Right now, we still have that same type of setup across northeast Wisconsin. And those clouds are producing some scattered showers, but they will be coming to an end shortly. So here's the cold front moving through eastern Wisconsin right now. 60s ahead of it today. Behind it, afternoon temperatures only in the 30s and 40s, and that much cooler weather is going to push in here later on tonight into tomorrow with a gusty northeast wind. And once that easterly wind sets up later on tonight, it is going to be with us until the end of April and right into May, which means we're going to have a chilly end to the month. Highs tomorrow will be running about 5 to 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year with that gusty northeast wind coming in off the Bay and Lake. High temperatures only in the 40s. Once you get away from the lake, it will be a little bit warmer across parts of central Wisconsin, lower to mid 50s. So a scattered shower this evening. Clearing skies overnight. Tomorrow, sunshine mixing with high clouds as our next weather maker quickly approaches from the west. It'll be here on Sunday, and it's not going to leave until next weekend because this system is going to get cut off from the jet stream. There's going to be nothing to move it along, so it's just going to kind of sit here across the central part of the country all next week, and we're on the wrong side of it. <laughs> we're going to see rain, we're going to see chilly winds, and we're going to see below normal temperatures. So your forecast for tonight calls for that evening shower with lows around 40. Tomorrow, windy and much cooler. Sun and high clouds. Look for a high temperature right around 46. Rain pushes back in on Sunday. We'll see rain on Monday into Tuesday. Temperatures way below normal. 30s and 40s with that gusty northeast wind. Upper 30s to mid 40s on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Maybe even a wet snowflake or a little bit of sleep mixing in in a couple of spots. Most of us will not see that. Finally, by next Saturday, it looks like just a lingering shower before high pressure builds in Sunday afternoon into Monday with some sunshine and warmer temperatures back up to around 60 degrees. Yeah, so you have to wait till next weekend. Yeah, we usually get a cutoff low or two during the spring, and this one is going to bring us lots of clouds and cold temperatures and rain. All right. Well, you know, we are heading into fishing season. NBC